in this video, let's do the one thing you should do before the update in Anime Fighters. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and like the video for free bow bucks. Hey yo, what up? F mine is Gang Gang. Welcome back to Anime Fighters Simulator. We have an update coming out tomorrow, yeah, update 64. And, you know, kind of looks like they might be taking out Easter Island, guys. Maybe. Possibly Easter Island by tomorrow. So today we're going to focus on what you guys should do before they take out Easter Island. And as you can see, I already have my big chungus over here. He's on auto attack, killing some enemies. He's getting those bunny tokens. So damn easy. easy. You can actually see his damage right now. It's not the highest, but it's enough to pretty much one-shot the enemies on Easter Island. He's level 223, 210 trillion on his uh, damage. He's infused. He's one of the Robux units, actually, that you guys can spin for. I did a video already on the Spring Star. He's not bad at all. And I've pretty much gotten all of the Robux units. You guys can see at the top of the screen. We got Bugs Bunny. Uh, we also have, um, I don't remember, he's the Bluebird guy. We also have, like, another Bugs Bunny. Um, and then the special unit is Madara Easter. So it's pretty good. And then on Star over here on the left side, you guys can see we got Megumin, Anya is there, Hinata. We also have uh, R R Rika or something? <laughs> Legendary unit. And then the girl from My Hero Academia, Bunny Girl, Miracle. So there's a lot of things you guys can do in Easter Island though. You definitely want to make sure you get those units. So before this, you know, Easter Island leaves, you're never going to be able to get these units ever again. Big Chungus, you guys want your very own Big Chungus. He's even wearing a Big Chungus shirt. Make sure you guys, if you have Robux, you want to spend for it. That way you can get a full team of these units and you never know, maybe sometime in the future, these might be, you know, tradable if they ever add unit trading. So that'd be kind of cool. They'd be worth a lot. Same thing with the Easter star over here. Definitely want to pull like some mythicals. I mean, I can try to spin right now. I'll do one max open for you guys. Just up into the my mythicals and then I guess the secret units. Uh, we can use, let's do super luck boost. And then we'll use the Easter luck boost. And a little extra luck boost, we'll use Hernando. And since I can't use my normal luck team here, maybe I can also use a, um, I guess, artifact of fortune. So we're going to change artifact of hoarding. We we'll use the Artifact of Fortune. There you guys go. Now I have my highest luck multiplier for the Easter Island. Nice. So once again, if Easter Island leaves tomorrow, this is what you should do. If it stays, you should still do the same thing because we don't know when it's going to leave. That's what I'm saying. Maybe it leaves tomorrow. But at the bottom right of the screen, I have 40 luck. If I max open right now, I mean, let's see what we get. We got a bunch of mythicals. That's not bad. Mythicals are still pretty good. And I think I pulled 118 of those mythicals. Dang, that's a lot of mythicals, f minus. Yes, sir. We got a bunch of Remy's over here. She's a waifu unit. She looks amazing. Uh, really muscular. That's what I'm saying. Pull the units before it leaves. Last chance. So we got a bunch more mythicals there. Not bad. The best unit you can get from here is going to be the Divine, though. You can get the Divine. It's going to be called Bunzi. I've already pulled her, and I made, like, the Demonic uh, Garou. Um, okay, we got a bunch more Mythicals. The chance of getting her, you could probably get her, like, I don't know. If you have a bunch of luck, like 40, 50, 60 luck, you could probably get her maybe in an hour, maybe two hours, tops. It might actually only take, like, 30 minutes if you have no cooldown hatching. But, yeah, Bunzi, 2.3k. Another good example, uh, we had limited time Toad Sage from the Winter Event, 2.3k. From the Halloween Event, we had Cardcaptor Sakura, 2.2k. So there's a lot of like limited time units you guys can get. I'm, I'm trying to pull the Seeker right now. We just pulled two Seekers, cool. And then uh, if you guys want to see, we got Shayla here, Easter 2024. So we got Bulma, Bunny version, definitely try to get her as well. She has a really cool aura and stuff. Just don't miss out on the units. And then, of course, get the divine units. Besides those units, you guys can also make the craftable 
I made the craftable before. It's Mai from Bunny Girl Senpai. And you can do the shiny version if you want. And also the it demonic unit. Goro. I've already made Goro as well. His base damage, I think, is the lowest out of all of the evolution units. Uh, he's doing 6k damage. Anos 23k. Demon Prince 6.7k. Coco Melon 11k. And we have Sung John 17k. I know it's a really low. But that's okay because once again limited time unit you can have a full team of these goros and you can illusion them to your units he looks really damn cool i i think let me go in and check here if i still have my girl in my inventory yes i do have cosmic girl 390 trillion he's just shiny you can't clone him but what you can do is transfer his illusion and then clone the illusion and then also the dupe machine definitely take advantage of this if you guys want put your items in here you can like clone your stuff every I don't remember if it's like every eight hours for free, but um, I mean, you can just see right here. I've already pulled 42K time trial shards. We still have five uh, boxes. Bottom left, I mean, there we go. 50K time trial shards and we still have four boxes. And every eight hours, if you look at my mouse cursor, you guys will be able to get those time trial shards. So definitely take advantage of dupe machine if you want. Uh, just be careful, you might bust. Huh? Uh, okay, we haven't busted yet. 64K, nice. You guys want to go all the way? Yes, sir. Hey, 81K, 50-50. Let's go bottom. Come on, big money right here. Oh, we busted. It's okay. I usually get like 10K Tom Charles shards every single chest I break anyways with my 1.2K drops. So that's how you can take advantage of that. And the Easter passive machine. You need to make sure you get at least one of every passive. Sunrise, best time multiplier in the game. I have a full team of Sunrise. You guys should have this as well if you can. You can't clone the Divine Passive, but you can grab it at least once. That way you can show it off because different passives look different. Resurrection right here, it gives you like a shiny... I have it on my Big Chungus. You guys have seen it right here. That's what Resurrection looks like. It's basically like... Well, I don't know why it's not showing. It's kind of like a white aura, white shining star with some electricity. It looks really cool. Definitely get the Easter passes before they disappear. And then you have egg, uh, what is that? Egg Hunter Master, you can get that. Egg Bonanza. Egg Bonanza is good for what drops. Egg Hunter Master, forgot what it's good for. Egg Fighter is good for damage. Obviously the best one once again. Best damage passive in the entire game. Not even close. Rexurrection. You guys need to get this passive. If you're an endgame player, super duper strong, you want to get a full team of this. And all you got to really do the technique, just select a fighter, uh, preferably from the Easter event. So for me, I guess any of the fighters we just got. So let's just say a mythical. Not a mythical, but you know, you get a, like a common. And you have a bunch of these Easter shards here. And then you just do a shard reroll until you get the divine passive. Because you can get an infinite amount of these shards if you use the dupe machine the dupe machine over here you get like let's say i don't know a couple thousand of these you can turn it into ten thousand maxed out and then you can pull your divine passive super easily since you can't clone it so that's what you guys should do definitely pull as many easter passes as you can even the mythical ones like i said it's probably not going to return until next year and who knows what will happen to enemy fighters by then but here's the easter market um i would say definitely max out everything I've already maxed out all my items here. I have max passive transfer tokens. I have max time. I have right here. This is where you guys can get the Easter shards if you didn't want to do dungeon. You can get max Grimoire tokens, max EXP boost. All of this I have maxed out. Max Heavenly Fruits. It's just I gave them to one of my friends. So I don't have it in my inventory from a previous video I did to clear my inventory out. That's what you guys should do. Because these boosts are pretty good and they stack with regular boosts. Remember at the bottom left of the screen, I used the super luck boost and I stacked it with the Easter luck boost. And you get an additional like one extra luck. That's what you guys should do. And if you want infinite bunny tokens, I for some reason I still see people like, hey F minus, can I have some bunny tokens? You guys can buy it with Robux as well, but if you guys want um, infinite bunny tokens, all you have to do is just take your best team for killing stuff on Easter Island. Just click equip best. You guys will see my team. We have Garo, Big Chungus, Madara, the Robux units. You go to your settings, turn on auto attack. Hopefully you have auto attack. You don't need drops multiplier. 
um and then that's pretty much it just turn on auto attack go in like the back of the map there's like a really good spawn point back here this is pretty good right here on the right side there's like what 10 enemies here just afk that's it you afk for like a couple of hours even uh you will have 10,000 bunny tokens you will i do it all the time over here as long as you can kill the enemies like in a one shot you can notice right here i'm not one shotting the enemies because well i'm not using vegetable and i'm not using my artifact of attack and i'm not using like a super damage boost you don't have to use those super damage boosts though but if you did you get extra damage and stuff a lot easier to kill stuff look at this saint nicholas he's dead one shot now everything's a one shot one tap that's how you guys get bunny tokens i mean just look at the bottom of the screen we're almost at 100 bunny tokens and we just started killing stuff so that's how you get max bunny tokens and then that's how you guys are going to max out your heavenly fruit i know there's some of you guys who are watching this video you have heavenly units i mean you already know how to play but that's how you get heavenly fruit unlimited just all you got to do is go to the easter merchant and then just stack up there let's look at the very bottom of the screen now we're almost at 100 of those bunny tokens we already passed 100 you can do it at spawn but it's a lot faster to farm the tokens if you go to the middle of the map there's just more enemies back here but yeah that's pretty much what you want to do to take advantage of the easter event in anime fighters these this is what you should do if they remove it from the game you want to take it one step further you can get the mount you can also do the quest i haven't done it because i don't need yen in the game uh yen is kind of useless for me uh, i don't really need to make the leaderboards and on top of that the mounts i already use a mount it's a skateboard it's my favorite one so you could do this if you want Especially if it doesn't return, you get a higher yen multiplier than other players. Maybe it's useful for you guys if you're making the leaderboards. But yeah, just to recap once again, spin for some units here. Get Anya if you want. I mean, I could try to spin right now. Hey, we're going to make the strongest Anya in anime anime fighters, y'all. This is the best waifu ever. No, we're, we're not doing that. But, you know, you definitely want to try to get, you know, some units here. Especially since they ain't coming back, y'all. They really ain't coming back. Let's go take a look. I mean, we got Megumin, so she's pretty good. I don't know if we pulled any Anyas. That's crazy. I didn't even get one Anya. 8% chance. Bruh. And I didn't even get one. And we are lagging a little bit. So we got Anita. Nice. So I'm going to go ahead and equip our Anya there. And you guys can now see my fighters. I'm just going to turn off auto attack. We don't need to farm anymore. So I have Anya. Cool. And then we have Bunny. Cool. We have Hinata. Cool. And then Megaman. There's like five different versions of Megaman in the game. So yeah, we've maxed out in easter island i don't have the heavenly but i have max heavenly fruit max boost max units every unit in the game um almost every unit in the game everyone from the limited time of uh easter island and i have like broken limiter on all of them so really high drops team it kind of helps out with the new chest models and rarities they just got to fix the glitch so we can continue to get drops in anime fighters but of course you guys let me know what you think the next event in anime fighters is gonna be if you think about it currently it's what easter once they remove easter there's nothing in may there's nothing in june probably july is the next event that's a maybe they've never added a fourth of july island so i mean there could be a first for anything but that's like two three months away guys so this might be the last you know island event for a long time take advantage of it use the dupe machine every eight hours go get every passive in the game that you guys can full team of it right here you will you should have max passive uh boost right here max heavenly fruit even if you don't have a heavenly max it out when you do get a heavenly you'll be op this right here passive transfer tokens easy to get max it out uh easter shards 10k dupe them and then this right here, Grimoire Tokens. You should have the best Grimoire in the game. That's 250 Bunny Tokens. It is so cheap. Really do appreciate, though, your guys' support. And until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video.